Welcome. Thank you for joining us for BTW 21 News at 5 p.m. I'm Luis Romero. We appreciate your company. We're going to get started right with the news. We were talking about uh, two coaches who usually see themselves as rivals on the court, but they're coming together to get back to the community through a basketball coaches clinic. Here is an interview that we filmed earlier today talking about everything you need to know in regards to that clinic. Hello everyone, continuing to keep you updated with happenings in Martins and Henry County where Bassett High School, where two Henry County Public Schools are coming together to help the community and give back. Uh, so I'm going to let everyone introduce themselves before we get started in our conversation and letting know of uh, people what's happening this coming Monday. I am Coach McCall. I'm the head coach here at Bassett High School. I have been a part of the program so far for two years and in addition to that I am also an algebra teacher here at Bassett High School. And my name is Coach Smith. I am the head girls basketball coach at Magna Vista High School. It will be my upcoming third full season, fourth if you count COVID. And uh, in addition to coaching, I also teach uh, health and medical sciences and medical terminology. Awesome. So what is, uh, who's going to take this question? What is happening this coming up Monday? So Shirley and I, we sat down together and uh, we decided that we had to rebuild basketball in this community. Um, so we thought a great place to start was the coaches clinic and that's how we came up with this idea. So it will be this Monday uh, here at Bassett High School from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Awesome. And what can I expect if I um, am coming and participating in this clinic? Well, I think the... Um First, the biggest, biggest misconception is that we're not trying to, you know, be here to tell coaches, oh, this is what you need to do. Okay. Um, you know, we definitely wanted to be a collaborative experience as much as possible and, you know, really share our knowledge with, you know, the game, what we learned, and also just being head coaches of programs. You know, that's a totally different beast when you start coaching compared to, you know, you doing an AAU team or a Parks and Rec team. But I think the biggest thing is just, you know, novice beginners, I mean, even parents that, you know, they have a love for the game or they have a young child, a young girl that, you know, wants to play. I think it will be a great opportunity for them to really learn about the fundamentals of basketball along with a lot of the principles that we need for them to understand as far as defense, offense, um, in addition to, you know, what happens after basketball as far as like that recruiting process. So again, more so, you know, just really want to make it interactive and have, you know, an, an outlook where they can, you know, take what they need and, you know, not use anything that they don't think is beneficial to them. But at the end of the day, if we can help them with their basketball knowledge and who knows, again, we may, we may learn something new too. Um, we definitely want to extend that invite to, you know, again, any and everyone that is interested in coaching or again if you're just a parent and you have a, a child that's, that's playing right now. Awesome, so you answered my question of who's invited but just to uh, emphasize who's invited and um, the, the big, the big key, key thing is of course giving back to the community this event is absolutely free. Absolutely, it is free. Uh, we will provide a light dinner. Um, we also have some educational materials that we plan to hand out. Um, but our target audience, obviously anyone who has coached in the Henry County Parks and Rec League, the YMCA League, current AAU coaches, uh, anybody that's just affiliated with, uh, you, you know, with youth basketball in this community. Um, our primary, you know, target audience is obviously those who deal with female athletes, but we do welcome, you know, coaches who deal with, you know, young males in the community as well. Um, because again, you know, our goal is to to give back is to help people and we understand that in order for our programs to be better um, and for us to be able to propel through the next level you know outside of the Piedmont district we have to work together we have to have a united front and you know this is where the foundation is built with these young programs um, we kind of receive them on the lady end so we want to make sure that those coaches feel like they're equipped with everything they need in order to ensure that their kids are as successful as possible when they get to the high school and I know that of course uh, pre-registration is encouraged uh, what are ways that I can do that um, so if someone wants to register for um, our clinic, uh, they can either contact myself or they can contact Coach McCall. Um, we both have Henry County uh, emails uh, and, you know, our phone numbers are listed on the flyer as well. So either way, you can inbox us on Facebook, you know, come by the school, whatever the case may be. Um, and if you can't register or you're not sure if you'll be able to make it, you know, we will accept walk-ins. Um, we don't want to turn anybody away. Uh, the registration piece is just to kind of make sure we actually have enough materials and enough food. Um, but again, you know, we're here to help and, you know, we're willing to do whatever we need to make that happen. Absolutely. And uh, lastly, just to emphasize, where is this taking place and when it's going to be happening? So again, it's going to be next Monday, July 25th from 530 to 830. And again, it is a free of charge, you know, admission. We're excited. 
<laughs> uh, we'll see you all here Monday at Bassett High School. And continuing to talk about news in Henry County, we're talking about one of the biggest events that the Smith River Sports Complex sees, and that is Smith River Fest. And it will all be taking place this coming up August, and that's going to be August 20th, again at the Smith River Sports Complex. And this is Henry County's annual outdoor recreation showcase, and it is back. The event aims to be a celebration of all things outdoors that make Martinsville Henry County an outdoor recreation hotspot. Smith River Fest is a day to learn more about many local amenities while having a fun opportunity to experience them. Both admission and parking are free for this event. In the past years, thousands of guests from more than 10 different states and 52 Virginia communities have participated in the event and festival organizers expect those numbers to continue to grow. Activity areas will be spread throughout the festival, allowing guests to try out various forms of recreation, including the paddling demo pool, the casting pool, the kids' cycle station, the mobile bike barn, the kids' zone, the climbing wall, the hammock village, river tubing, fly tying demos, yoga by the river, the water gun battle station, the boat race, and the mud run. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Of course, there's a lot more BTW 21 News to cover, and we're going to do that shortly after these messages. Hi, Barry Nelson here. Nelson Honda in Marginal. We got some new car deals for you today. We got a 2022 Honda Accord Touring 2.9 finance, and that's a great deal. Come get it while it lasts. Got a brand new Honda Ridgeline 2022 RTL. It's got all those letters loaded. 2.9 finance. Got a brand new 2022 Passport loaded and this is a trail sport and we got several in stock. Come see us at Nelson Honda. Got a brand new 2022 Honda Pilot and that's solid gray. That's a beautiful color. We got several to choose from. Come see us. Brand new CRVs. News flash. I've got 11 of them. So this is a touring model and got 2.9 financing again. Come see us at Nelson Honda where everybody knows cars cost less. Plus, we double your warranty. You're watching BTW 21, your neighborhood network, Southside. Hey, come see us at Martinsville Urgent Care. We're located at 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our telephone number is 276-634-0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Morton's for Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia, 276-634-0010. Call us to get your time slot booked. The staff is friendly, helpful, very considerate, very, very nice. I couldn't ask for anyone to be any more helpful than they've been. When I got here, I was surprised at all the different things that they wanted me to do and how much better I felt after I finished them. And I've worked with just about everyone, I think, and they're all exceptional. I don't mind coming in the door. It doesn't matter who I work with because I like them all. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us for BTW 21 News. Again, Louise Schmerer here with you. It is now time to turn things over to Dustin Staples. He has a look at your local weather forecast for tonight and of course the possibility of that heat wave or heat wave that will be coming. Uh, he has all the details. Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter.
Hey everybody, it's Weatherman Dustin Staples. Uh, thanks, Luis, for that as uh, we continue to update you on the news and everything else around Martinsville, Henry County. And again, our main focus, if you've been watching our newscast, Franklin County, you have been getting lots of shout outs uh, for the news story for the last week. And uh, so uh, we are letting you know we do more than Martinsville, Henry County, our friends in Patrick County. We haven't really talked much about them, but uh, if there's any news that we are talking about your way, send us something we can uh, do about, as you know, live with Luis's programming. Uh, he's always looking for guests. So if you have a potential news story you think that may be cool to share with Luis, head over to our website at btw21.com. Scroll down, click on its name on the news tab. If you scroll down on the main homepage, you'll You'll see the news section and you should be able to click on his name. It, once you click on his name or highlight copy paste, it'll go right to his email address and you can email him right there as well or contact him on Facebook at uh, the Luis Romero. You can message him on his business page or message us at BTW21 on our Facebook page as well. Speaking of this, I know we're beginning to sound like a broken record, but we are going to be generous to you. Uh, there's a little bit of a homework you have to do. It's not that hard, so it's uh, real simple to put it as this. We are giving away a $100 uh, gas gift card. As you know, gas prices are the last couple of months have been seeing record highs and some parts of the area got up to near five dollars a gallon just a couple of weeks ago and now well, we're beginning to see a decrease in gas prices but I'm sure many of you particularly you truck drivers out there are feeling uh, the effect of that spilling almost almost four or five hundred dollars in gas uh, particularly our uh, truck or tractor trailer truck drivers they have cross-country trips continuously out there as well in particular those heavy duty uh, trucks uh, that you all do for work or personal use whatever you may be doing we know gas is expensive so maybe if you don't drive a truck maybe if you're like us and uh, we drive those little or little small cars uh, in my case I do you can head over to our YouTube channel and subscribe that is BTW 21 just go to the search bar and search at BTW 21 our logo will pop up the blue and yellow white uh, letters and the colors will show up on that button all you have to do is like it subscribe and then you can win a chance to get a $100 gas gift card. So if you are in desperate need of that, we are going to be just generous enough to uh, select a winner. All you have to do is head to youtube.com forward slash BTW21 news and hit that like button and subscribe while you're at it hit the bell so you don't miss any of our videos we post uh, live with Luis reports we have the crime reports the obituary reports all of those um, videos and of course the weather forecast is on my youtube channel i'm not giving away a gift card but if you're generous enough well just go to dustin staples and subscribe to my youtube channel even Luis's as well so uh, if you want to ch catch up what's happening around martinsville henry county you got a couple of alternatives to do that as too all right enough of us uh, plugging our website which we really uh, appreciate over the 5.5 million website views that is incredible uh, we've got that many views and clicks so keep it up thanks so much for supporting us what is going to continue to uh, keep us in the talk over the next couple of days and maybe the next couple of weeks here a lot of the orange on the map here I don't know, you really don't have to underestimate of how what this means the, the light shade of orange to the darker shade represents of how high we're going to get and everywhere along this map is uh, except for our friends up here maybe if you know people up towards northern minnesota michigan maybe along the great lakes and they even believe it or not out towards arizona and uh, new mexico they're seeing below normal conditions that's the southern tip there you kind of point that out but everywhere else across the u.s at or just well above average highs for this time of the year so that goes all the way through the second of august we are going to begin to see those warm temperatures stick around for quite a while. For us tonight, a mix of sun and clouds, stray shower. I'm not expecting any widespread rain this evening, unfortunately. So again, your homework for the next couple of days, I would say have your gardens watered. I know a lot of our farmers in our area are trying to plant corn and get ready for our fall harvest and maybe doing some hay out there in some of the fields. If not, I think most of that by now is completed. So other than that, just do know that we are going to begin to see a dry stretch built in for us with limited rain chances for the next couple of days. Overnight lows you see here, temperatures staying in the mid 70s, so not much of a relief at night. Muggy and calm with a stray shower possible and area wide daytime temperatures tomorrow. A hot, hazy, humid is the trend for us and 
really everywhere you go on this map, even Medicine coming up at 84 tomorrow, 90 in Stewart, 93 Ridgeway, same story in Axton, out towards the Smith River Sports Complex. I know a lot of you want to hit the river. I mean, that's totally okay, but do know again, we'll talk about this. You see, our heat indices are over 100 potentially uh, tomorrow, so get ready for some high extreme heat. This weekend, heat and seeds could potentially reach 107 to 110 uh, as uh, we're going to be building in highs. These are not the air temperatures. Our forecast high temperatures could clip almost 100 degrees, uh, particularly on Sunday. It looks to be the hottest day and possibly the most dangerous heat day in the week because of this upcoming weekend. So I know you all want to be outdoors. I'm going to tell you this straightforward and be honest with you. Don't go out if you don't need to go out. Stay indoors. Check on your elderly. Check on the pets. If you want to do stuff, maybe you're going to be shading around. Maybe if you're going to a lake, do know that the UV index is going to be way up there. Within less than 15 minutes, you could result into a sunburn. Make sure you have sunscreen SPF of 30 or, or roughly 25 to 40 as a recommendation. Of course, depending on your skin tone, you may want to consult with your doctor and things of that nature to make sure that you are using the correct SPF of sunblock and sunscreen with you so you can uh, won't have a result in some third degree sunburn. It is not fun. I've been there and you don't want to go there. So just keep that in mind that the hot humidity and the dangerous heat is sticking around for us. So uh, no hurry to go anywhere. So if you have plans this weekend, don't cancel them. Just do be weary of what is going to be out there. Hot, humid, it's going to be just, you know, have hydration, stay cool. Uh, if you have to work outside, do it early in the morning, maybe before, somewhere between 6.30 when the sun's beginning to come up to about 10.30, no later than that. And then do stuff maybe later in the evening. Wait till about maybe 7.30, 8 o'clock to maybe about 10 o'clock. I know that's kind of late for people, but you know what though, if you want to try to avoid the excessive heat, do it early in the morning. If you have to go out, just do be, be weary. Uh, quickly cool yourself off. Drink before you're thirsty. Even drink after enough. You may be considering yourself carrying around jugs of water with you. It wouldn't be a bad idea to do that as well, uh, particularly for those who are running out there and uh, doing all sorts of stuff. But if you want to keep those big water bottles at hand with you, do that too. Make sure you refrigerate them and put some ice in them because you'll definitely need the ice. Excuse me, sorry about that. As uh, the cool weather will keep you condense as well. And also something else, when you're maybe working out in the yard, get you a wash rag, wet it real cold if you can, and kind of just wring it around, put it around your neck, kind of like a, a scarf or a, a bandana sort of soaps. And maybe if you don't have a washcloth, get a bandana even, and it's kind of tied around your head. I know it's kind of, you look kind of silly doing that, but you know what though, your, your body stays cool keeping yourself uh, from overheating and of course resulting in heat illnesses such as a heat stroke and uh, things of that uh, nature as well. So Something else I want to quickly note about uh, the kiddos, about the playground sets. I've really talked about this much. Do know those playground equipment, uh, particularly at the parks, are about three times hotter than what you're expecting to see on the air temperature. So make sure the kids have proper footwear on. I know they want to wear their Crocs and sandals and flip-flops. That's okay. Just I would prefer them, you know, make sure they have tent clothes two tennis shoes on uh, to make sure that they're not running and they accidentally burn their feet or uh, also make sure you know test the equipment before they get on it tell them say hey wait a minute let me check to see if this is hot enough or if it's not hot enough just yet make sure you can get on it so you're not resulting in your kids getting in the result of second to third degree burns that's not worth going to the hospital uh, risking that as well so all I got to say take care everybody and uh, find a pool or something go to the lake and uh, cool off a fair member of the sunscreen SPF uh, is going to be needed and of course our UV rays are going to be up to a 9 plus uh, for the next several days resulting into sunburns less than 15 minutes or that. So take care everybody. Remember the hot humid weather builds in tomorrow. Not much relief in sight. Straight shower possible but other than that you may be needing to water your grass. Take care everybody. Have a wonderful evening. We'll catch you on Thursday. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. 
Hey, my name is Joyce Renee Watkins, and the reason why I chose chiropractic was because I was having some issues and went myself. And chiropractic really, really works. New clients to come in, we are running a special right now where you can actually come into the office and have an exam and seven different types of x-rays for $49 and then we will get you back in the next day and we will actually treat you and we can let you then put your insurance covers. Now you're getting seven x-rays and an exam and the x-ray machine here is top of the line and Dr. Zentmeyer is really good. He can really read some x-rays. So I encourage everyone to come we're located in Collinsville. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue, Collinsville, Virginia. We are across from Fenders and beside Walgreens. We've been here for 25 years now and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned, so we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us for BTW 21 News. Your Martinsville and Henry County Crumb Report, as always, is presented by our friends at Apex Bell Bonds, and it is next. Zachary Shelton, 26, of Ridgeway, Virginia, charged with contempt of court, failure to appear. Rocky Welch, 61, of Collinsville, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony. Michael Bruce, 35, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with hit and run, driver failed to stop or report. Philip Compton, 36, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony. Bobby Crum, 70, of Collinsville, Virginia, charged with intoxication and public. Donald Puckett, 53, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with trespassing after being forbidden to do so. Walita Stokes, 21 of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with contempt of court, failure to appear. Jonathan Hodge, 34, Martinsville, Virginia, charged with intoxication and in public. You need a bondsman you can trust at your side. At Apex Bail Bonds in Martinsville, our agents are with you at every step, not just the day you bond out. Need affordable bail? You'll get the same low rates we offer in Danville and Reedsville. Apex Bail Bonds has the only bail bondsman around licensed on both sides of the Virginia Carolina line. Provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law. Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed. 
Triangle Electric Corporation is a locally owned small business serving Martinsville and Henry County for over three generations since 1965. We take great pride in our workmanship and value that we can offer our customers. Whether it's residential, commercial, industrial, we strive to make every customer feel just like family. And we offer 24-hour emergency services. Just give us a call at 276-957-2281. Praise the Lord to all of you. Come and share the 81st Holy Convocation with the Apostle Church of Christ in God. Tuesday, July 19th through Saturday, July 23rd, 2022. We are convening at the Mount Sinai Apostle Church, 7 Peter Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our theme is Power of the Past vision for the future daily schedule 7 a.m early morning prayer 10 a.m workshops and seminars 11 45 a.m morning worship 7 p.m evening worship so come and worship with us second vice bishop h.j betts first vice bishop robert Cunward, host pastor and presiding bishop dr jc richardson jr see you in july Welcome back. It is now time for your Martinsville and Henry County obituaries. Now, as always, these are presented by our friends at Bassett Funeral Service. Wilma Reeves Easley was called to her heavenly home July the 14th, 2022. Funeral services will be held Friday, July the 22nd at 12 noon at New Sharon Grove Missionary Baptist Church in Axton. Viewing will be held on Thursday, July the 21st at Harriston Funeral Home between the hours of 1 and 5 p.m. Shirley Weaver Flippin, 73 of Bassett, passed away July the 15th, 2022. The visitation will be Monday, July the 25th from 12 to 1 p.m. in the Chapel of Bassett Funeral Service. A funeral service will follow at 1 p.m. Bassett Funeral Service is serving the family. Online condolences may be made by visiting BassettFuneralService.com. Denver Earl McAllister, Jr., 54 of Bassett, passed away Friday, July the 15th, 2022. A graveside service will be held Thursday, July the 21st, 2 p.m. in the Castle Family Cemetery in Patrick Springs. Bassett Funeral Service is serving the family. Marvin Carter, 58 of Clearview Drive, Martinsville, transitioned to eternal life Friday, July the 15th, 2022. Visitation service will be Saturday, July the 23rd at 2.30 p.m. at Refuge Temple Ministries in Martinsville. Viewing will be held Friday, July the 22nd from 1 to 5 p.m. On June 2nd of this year, we will celebrate our 25th year of serving Martinsville and Henry County. 25 years ago, we started as a small funeral home. Then in 2008, we became one of the largest funeral homes serving Martinsville and Henry County. This spring, Bassett Funeral Service purchased some new property for our new crematory and also we'll be expanding our services into that building. We pride ourselves in our service. As in the beginning, uh, Bassett Funeral Service started at zero and over the few years we have become one of the leading funeral homes in the area and I think that is because we are providing a tremendous service to our families. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276 638 8771. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time we have for BTW 21 News at 5 p.m. with yours truly. As always, we appreciate your company very much and we hope that you can continue to stay updated on our website, btw21.com and our social media pages. Don't forget to head on over to youtube.com slash btw21news. Hit subscribe for a chance to win a $100 gas card. We'll see you tomorrow.